Let the best girl wars begin with a couple of cuckoos <laughs> series. Finally got its second episode. This is the latest starting show of the season. While well, most stuff is like five episodes in, but yeah, a lot of arguments coming up. Switched at birth meets Nisekoi. I mean, <laughs> I, I can't blame the comparisons there, but yeah, just another harem show. But is there anything really here? It's my thoughts on the first two episodes. So let's jump right into it. A couple of cuckoos, or as Andrew likes to call it, a couple of cuckoos, because it just, it's English. It looks weird, but <laughs> follows Nagi Umino. And at some point, he's about to meet his real parents. Come to find out when he was a baby, they goofed up at the hospital and switched the children, but they just recently figured this out. So he's about to meet his real parents. And on the opposite end, their daughter is about to meet his parents. So while he's kind of processing this whole thing, he ends up running into a girl named Erika Amino. And she is attempting to jump off of a bridge, which he goes to stop her, ends up falling on her. And somehow she manages to get a really nice shot of him touching her. <laughs> Come to find out, Erika's a little mad because she is engaged to somebody that she's never met. And so she wants Nagi, before he goes to meet his parents, to help her by acting like he is her loved one that she's actually interested in. And yes, to shock to nobody, <laughs> these are the two that was swapped. Both Nagi and Erika were swapped at birth. And despite the fact that she wanted to stop the marriage that she was getting into, that marriage is to him. So <laughs> it kind of works out for her father that she was trying to trick. So yeah, well, it seems like a match made in heaven for their parents because it seems like Nagi and Erika kind of hit it off. Erika at some point even mentioned, I wish that you were the one that I was engaged with. So kind of indicating that she's kind of all right with him. She kind of likes him. But on the other end, Nagi's not really cool with this because he's already interested in a girl. There's a girl from his school, Segawa, who is kind of like his rival. He's always kind of studied really hard in order to compete with this girl, but it obviously seems like he does like her. And yes, to make matters worse, due to the fact that Nagi is no longer actually blood relative to his sister, <laughs> Seems like his sister's into him, so let's add another one to the mix. Yes, this is full-on harem territory here. And getting to the second episode, we get a lot more into Erika's mindset. She comes to visit Nagi, and he believes that she's coming there to actually profess to him that we should get married. And he's thinking of actually telling her, no, look, I'm actually interested in somebody else. Let's call the engagement off. And this actually turns into a whole scenario where Erika just wants to meet with his parents. She wants to meet her actual blood relatives and to get to know them more, but... It seems like she's not really good at communicating that. It seems really clear that she's kind of dumb. <laughs> she's she's the rich girl that doesn't really understand anything outside of her world of lavish life and being a social media influencer or whatever she's trying to be. So getting to my thoughts on a couple of cuckoos. I am I enjoy this series so far. I I actually do like these characters, although I think some of the, it, it it's relying very I mean, this is a harem show, so let's let's be honest here. It's relying very heavily on the whole misunderstandings, miscommunication and just people not talking. I mean, let's be honest. A majority of the second episode was around Erica not communicating properly what she wanted. And so the entire episode, Nagi believes that Erika wants to beat the crap out of his parents. Oh, just turns out she just really wants to talk to them. I don't know why she said, I want to give them a piece of my mind or whatever it was. But again, that is the whole concept of harems for the most part. So you're not really getting anything new here. But if that's something that doesn't bother you, I think it's doing it very well. This is a really solid harem so far. The characters are a lot of fun. A lot of the comedy is really fun. I, I will say that the second episode was very weak early on, and it wasn't until the later part where his parents went full Yakuza mode and was about to beat the crap out of Erika, which was all in his head. Uh, I, I was really kind of, wasn't feeling it. They didn't really do a good job of portraying Erika, honestly. I think in the first episode, you really have a sense of she's cute. She's fun to be around, but there's this element of her, she basically blackmails him with an image, and I really never liked that whole scenario, and I hate that they use it so often. And like I said, the, the second episode, it didn't really do well with her basically betraying her as borderline idiot. <laughs> I mean, we're talking, we don't know what a house is. We don't know what a stove is. We don't know what anything in the world is, despite the fact that she has those amenities at her own home, but just smaller. I am honestly already looking forward to seeing Hiro uh, Sagawa, which is the rival for the main character, because she's voiced by <laughs> Naotoyama, which is one of my favorite seiyus. 
And she looks like a dork as well. I mean, probably way too into her studies. She doesn't even know who he is, despite the fact that he sees her as a rival. And I'll be interested to see what they end up doing with the sister. They, they've they already implied that the sister was actually hesitant in meeting her actual sister. And at first, it really seemed like it was more about jealousy. Because um, what they're essentially going for is because Nagi is no longer her blood relative, he's he's game. So she's interested in him. So it was kind of heavily implying that she was jealous of Erika because they were engaged. But in actuality, she really does want to meet her sister. And at the very end of the second episode, they have this idea that she's accepted uh, Erika, despite the fact that she's not met her yet. She's seemingly actively avoiding her. I've already kind of hinted at earlier, but I really do like the parents already. <laughs> Again, despite the fact that it was all in his head, I do get a kick out of the, you know, past gang member parents that just can snap at any moment, which they've done a couple times, really kind of pushing Nagi to understand what they're saying. So they'll get very kind of gruff about it. I get a huge, a huge kick out of him. So the only one that kind of remains is Nagi. And I'm, I'm very mixed on him so far. I, don't, I haven't really gotten too much out of him. He does seem like he does say the right things at the right time, but that's typical with your harem protagonist. That's usually how they win over the females. Other than that, he's really just misunderstanding all the situations in front of him, which again, creates the humor, but I haven't really got much out of him besides that. He's really, so far, very basic main protagonist of harem. So I'm hoping they'll do something interesting with him in the future, something that will really, you know, shock me, set him aside from a lot of harem protagonists, but I think overall it's doing very well. I, I do want to note that we, if you are a fan of Yamada and the Seven Witches, this is the same creator. The original creator of this is the original creator of the Seven Witches, which I really did enjoy that series. So that's kind of why I have some hype about this series. Additionally, this will be running for 24 episodes. This will be a two core series. So there's a lot of content to get through here. So this is only first impressions points here, obviously. Visually, it looks really good. Synergy SP and shitty animation is doing a fantastic job with the animation here. Um, this is something that's been hyped up for quite a while. They're putting a lot of effort into making the girls very, very, very cute in this series. And they're already creating the the drama online about which girl's best girl. They're, they're already doing competitions, they're doing polls and everything. So that's gonna be a huge point of this series. And like I said before, let let me know if you get wrapped up in that whole situation or not. I So far for me, like I said, I'm I'm gunning on Hiro, uh, mainly because again, now Toyama, uh, she's already released a video introducing the character and I was already hooked like, yeah, I love this girl. Again, Erika, they need to give me something more. I, I they, Her breakdown at the end of the second episode did kind of bump her up a little bit for me. Um, just that idea that she just kind of, she's trying. Um, but obviously for having the first episode, her basically blackmailing the main character, which I've never liked. And the second episode, her being oblivious to all get, like beyond normality, uh, was a little bit frustrating for me, but we'll see. And the sister... I don't know. I'm 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 usually fine with the whole sister aspect. Don't get me wrong. I'm I'm fine with the siscon brocon thing, uh, but we haven't got enough of her. She's obviously very jealous, but she's also very combative. So we'll see what they end up doing with her character going forward. It might turn out that she's not really necessarily into Nagi. Um, her goal may just be to meet Erika and. It's probably to be a parent member. Let's be honest. But there you have it. That's my thoughts on a couple of cuckoos. Definitely looking forward to more of this series. Definitely a higher than average for your harem show. So I'm definitely looking forward to more of this series. Hopefully it kind of does enough to stand out from the crowd from your typical harem shows. And I think with 24 episodes, we got plenty of content to really get through to see if it can actually pull off something fantastic. And I think based on Erika's introductions of her insecurities, I think it does prove there's something here that they could get into. That these characters aren't just their face values, which you can sometimes get with harem shows. But we'll see where it goes from here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below, comment. Let me know what thought of the series if you're going to be checking it out. Subscribe if you have not already. I do coverage of all the anime of the season as well as doing episode by episode impressions of certain shows as well as news, anime discussions, top lists. If it's anime, it's pretty much here. Additionally, if you want to support us more, we have a Patreon link and a tips link in the description below. We definitely appreciate everybody that supports us and y'all take care.